Just for a change, this is quite a long video, but the title is short, it's called Steaming. It's a compilation video featuring a collection of model steam engines and boilers, all in steam. So I have charcoal soaked in white spirit, I have some coal, I have the boiler, and I have a hand pump connected to the boiler, and the blower is in the chimney, ready to be plugged into the 12 volt supply when it's required. And it's a lovely day, so here we go. I start off by opening the fire hole door and feeding in some charcoal soaked in white spirit. And as you can see in this clip, I'm putting a generous amount of this charcoal into the firebox. It's very important that the entire grate is covered. I'll leave just one piece of charcoal sticking out of the fire hole door. I'll light that and quickly push it into the fire hole and simultaneously connect the blower. This is very important because if you don't immediately connect the blower, all the fire will come out of the fire hole and burn the front of the boiler and possibly your fingers. So initially leave the fire hole door open for a very short time to make sure that the charcoal is properly lit. And when you look at the fire, about two or three minutes later, it's glowing nicely. So it's time now to add some coal, but not too much. It looks like I'm putting a lot on here, but they are very small pieces. You just need enough to cover the top of the charcoal. If you put too much on, the whole thing's likely to go out. And the rule is, when you finish with the fire hole door, always shut it. Because if you leave it open, cold air rushes in through the fire hole and goes up the tubes and the boiler doesn't steam well. But this boiler's steaming very well indeed. This close-up shot of the pressure gauge shows that there is 40 pounds per square inch of steam pressure in the boiler now. I originally set the safety valve to blow off at 60 psi on compressed air. But now the boiler's in steam, the safety valve is behaving oddly, and this is quite normal, it's doing two things. One is, it's blowing off at too low a pressure, and the other one is lifting water. This is called priming, and it's very common on a new boiler. Inside the boiler are products of the silver soldering process. I'll just open the steam tap and make sure the pipes are all clear, and yes they are. As I was saying, this priming is due to impurities in the water. I don't advocate using distilled water, this is not the issue. The issue is, the impurities are there to start with, from the silver soldering process. And once this settles down, the safety valve will stop lifting water, and the priming will stop. Priming is a problem, because the safety valve is ejecting water from the boiler, not just excess steam. And of course, the water level drops in the boiler. So always be very, very careful. Make sure that you have a good water supply and the hand pump is working correctly. Don't forget, this is not a gas-fired boiler. You cannot just turn off the heat. Normally I would steam up outside the workshop, but the weather's terrible today for a video. So I thought, as my wife is away visiting a family, I would steam the engine on the kitchen table. The boiler is a Stuart 500. This is the burner for it. The plant also has a water tank for replenishing the water in the boiler and a condenser oil trap to prevent oil and water from gurgling up the chimney and making a mess everywhere. This beam engine has a governor that actually works. It also has a Stuart displacement lubricator fitted. The boiler is fired by methylated spirits using the burner that came with the boiler and it makes a change not to have an umbilical cord to the boiler from a gas tank. Before putting the spirit burner underneath the boiler I had of course filled it with water here I'm just topping up the water tank. While the spirit burner is doing its stuff under the boiler, oil the engine. Just oil every moving part. Usually by the time you've finished oiling the engine, there'll be enough pressure in the boiler to run the engine. These spirit burners are deceptively hot, and this Stuart 500 boiler raises steam very quickly. Here you see the boiler after a very short time at working pressure. In this case, on the gauge, it's 75 pounds per square inch. Here I'm opening the main steam valve. The first steam that gets to the cylinder condenses to water, and you're supposed to open the cylinder drain cuts to let this out, but this makes such a mess of the model, with black oil and water residue going everywhere, I tend to not use them on models this size. I don't know who built this engine in the first place, but he was a very good engineer. He even went to the trouble of fluting the centre column. This engine really captures the style of the period. 
It's like having a tiny bit of the industrial revolution on your kitchen table, complete with methylated spirit burns. Welcome to Steaming in the Garden, this is part 2, and it's a Stuart Models Major Beam engine, in steam. This engine belongs to a friend of mine, and he called in to see me and stopped for a couple of days, and we had a really good steam up and a really good chat, and we thought it would be a good idea to run some of these engines in the garden. This particular engine, as I've just mentioned, is called a Stuart Major Beam, and I rebuilt this engine from the ground up a while back, and it was a 38 part series. And now, as you can see, it runs beautifully. And that's it for me for the moment. I'm not going to speak any more in this video. Unfortunately, you can't really hear the exhaust beat because the thing is so precise and so quiet. It's great to just see it running on steam. It's a beautiful thing. It runs like a Swiss watch. A very heavy, very hot Swiss watch. Oh, and by the way, at the very end of the video, you'll see a man with his hand on the valve on the boiler. That's not me. That's my friend Mike from Portsmouth. That's it from me, I'll just leave you with the engine telling its own story. So thanks for watching, and I hope you're finding this useful. Or at least entertaining.
please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website. Click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.